Hey guys, um, quick update. Uh, they have identified the meningitis. It's uh, staphylococcal, staph FE uh, meningitis, which is like skin staph that gets inside the wound. Um, they seem to uh, be taking it seriously, but they're not really, I guess they never would do that, but they're not acting like it's an absolute like emergency scenario they're just but they are they are pumping her full of uh, IV uh, antibiotics and now they're they're kind of specifically giving her stuff for that uh, and I say that but they just I'm not sensing a super amount of urgency behind it and then I did some Google search which sometimes is good sometimes is bad but uh, Google search tells me that um, it's like uh, very commonly fatal within hours um, if not treated properly. So maybe we caught it in time. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what damage this may have done. It, it, it looks like, uh, sounds like it attacks the, uh, the brain stem, which is already agitated from um, her surgery, that type of stuff. So um, today's uh, activity, she's got up, she walked around the nurse's station. She still feels awful. I mean, she, she feels absolutely awful. Um, She's tired. She just can't handle much more. Um, she's literally, she's, she's, she's not in a good place mentally. And uh, hard, hard to stomach some of the things she says. <clears throat> um, I mean, she just wants to die at this point. She's like, no more, no more. Um, what else? Um, they're doing her the swallow test today. And uh, that that test will determine whether we can get the feeding tube out. So that's the uh, that's the hope today, the goal for the day: <laughs> stay alive, number one, and two, pass that test. And uh, hopefully, if she passed the test today, they'll go ahead and get the feeding tube out today and start working her on the normal normal foods. Um, get her moving in that direction. So that's all the update I really have. She feels awful. She's hurting. She's in pain. Uh, it's it, it appears to be slightly better, but not a lot. Uh, so all we can do is hope. Uh, hope and pray that uh, it all works out and just let them keep feeding her antibiotics. So thanks, guys. Thanks for all the prayers and love and everything. Uh, I'll keep you updated. This is definitely a setback. Set us back a few days at least, minimum. Um, of getting out of here and getting home uh, and, and just healing. So, yeah, we were, uh, we had a targeted date to get out of here Friday and that sounds like we may actually be set back an entire week. <clears throat> so, she's ready to go home. She's about ready to jump out the window <laughs> in the room. I laugh at that because it's just the way she says it. But uh, like I feel deep in my soul that somewhere deep down she really means it. She just wants it all to end right now because she's in constant pain. So just keep praying for her. Thank you for everything. I don't have many more words to say. I don't know what else to say. Other than that, um, yeah. Thanks, guys.